Welcome. All right, so now we're getting into uh, some examples that are really much in, uh, in joy because, you know, yeah, we can still apply the cross product, but now it's going to get a little bit, um, now when I use those parentheses, it kinda, it's going to help a little bit make um, these problems easier. So if we were going to apply the cross product here, like circle them, all right, and again, the use of parentheses I cannot emphasize enough. So this is 4 times c minus 2. Do not write 4 times c minus 2 like this, because this says 4 times c, then minus 2. So we got to make sure we use parentheses. It's 4 times c minus 2 equals 7 times c plus 1. All right? Very, very important that we apply our parentheses. Now, since I have those parentheses, I have to apply my distributive property. And therefore, I get 4c minus 8 equals 7c plus 7. Now, you can see I have a variable on both sides. So I want to get the variables to one side. So I'll subtract the 4c on both sides. And I get negative 8 is equal to 3c plus 7. Then, to get the c by itself, I will subtract the 7 on both sides. And you can see I have negative 15 equals 3c divide by 3, divide by 3, and negative 5 equals c. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve a proportion when one of your ratios is fractional expressions. Mm.